More and more interesting investment opportunities in startups are presented over time. Where does this trend come from and why is it such a good idea to invest in impact startups? In this video, you'll find my five reasons why investing in startups with a social mission can be both impactful and lucrative. Climate change, it's of course a serious challenge, but you can also see it as a business opportunity. If we want to tackle the climate problem, virtually every segment of the industry will have to be reinvented. Achieving zero carbon emissions by 2015 is going to require a revolution in the production of everything we consume. From making fuel, food, building materials, it all has to be reinvented. So, you have a choice. You can either sit on the sidelines and do nothing and watch, or we can invest in the smart innovators who are turning our huge problem into a business opportunity. Of course, investing in impact startups makes sense for achieving our climate goals. Only 5% of our climate targets have been achieved so far. That's super depressing. So, I mean, forget the government and the big corporations and start thinking about what we could do ourselves. Startup Bootcamp, Europe's largest startup accelerator, has researched how many startups we would need to achieve the climate goals, and they have come up with the number. 170,000 index startups that contribute to the sustainable development goals are needed in the coming years to stimulate the necessary innovation to fix what we have broken. It is seem huge. But when you consider that between 100,000 and 150,000 startups are founded worldwide every year, the goal suddenly seems a lot more achievable. In the current era, we give a special status to the companies that work or make an impact in a sustainable way. Expect this to change within a decade. It's simple. Product producing and offering products and services in a sustainable way will become the standard. Companies that do not operate in a sustainable manner will face higher capital costs if they get access to capital at all. Not to mention that the new generation will prefer the companies that produce products or services that are offered in a sustainable way. And what's not to understand about that? Thanks to skyrocketing innovation, our money is depreciating rapidly. In addition, many banks will charge a negative interest rate on your savings account. And of course that will change. However, who leaves his or her savings in a bank will see it evaporate. Your wealth will disappear at a pace you cannot imagine. So what can you do? Invest your money in everything that the government can print. But with the traditional stock exchanges that are massively overvalued and a real estate market that seems to be on the brink of a collapse, a crypto market that seems to go everywhere, you will have to be creative. You won't be surprised that I think that gold is certainly a good option. But early stage startups have a growth potential that many other assets don't. Investing in startups is a risky undertaking. 90% of all startups that don't even make it to their fourth birthday. Can you imagine? Only 10% of all startups still exist after four years. So, a strong selection of an accelerator or venture building program can significantly increase the success rate. And the numbers, they just don't lie. Startups that have been selected and accelerated by an accelerator or venture building program increase their chance of reaching their fourth year of life by up to 70%. Investing in startups can provide a nice upside, but certainly not without risk. So of the 100,000 to 150,000 startups that are launched worldwide every year, you will need to find the most successful ones first, like a needle in a haystack. Make sure you participate in a professional selection process and make sure you diversify your investment portfolio of startups as much as possible. In the end, it's all about the numbers. At NextChange, we have made startup investing one of our core priorities. We work with several startup accelerators to offer baskets of startups, such as the Bolt Action Program of Startup Bootcamp. 
So if you have any other questions about startup investing or impact investing, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.